Hello everyone and now welcome to a game, Labyrinth vs. Starbuck, this game taking place here on Hammerfall. A little bit of bookkeeping things to get out of the way, if you guys have not checked out Stormgate on Kickstarter, um, definitely um, check, ask you to check it out. Um, looks like it is going to be the future of real-time strategy games as a bunch of former StarCraft 2 and WarCraft 3 developers, former Blizzard folk, heading over to, well, um, and make a new studio, Frost Giant Studios, which is making a new RTS. It is on Kickstarter. I, I believe it's going to be um, developed through or deployed through Steam. Um, not 100% sure how it's going to work. I don't know if there's going to be add-ons and things like that, but um, supposedly they're trying to release digital versions or they want to do a little bit of a Kickstarter. And if you like all of those, well collectibles that are often available anyways let's go ahead and break things down in this matchup here starbuck opening things up with a farseer first very aggressive farseer first into quick tech starbuck no voodoo lounge no barracks so it should be a very very fast tech to tier two coming back home to labyrinth labyrinth is going for a classic death knight there is that tomb of relics also getting up a ziggurat as well and well undead playing this sim city style of game to make it difficult to get in and out now hammerfall i, I actually like to think of hammerfall as um, a three path or a three bridge Terranus stand. There's actually multiple ways out of your base here. One, two, three to get across. There is a center zone and then another one, two, three as well. So some similarities there. We can see a war mill now being placed down. Tech to tier two already started before the Farseer even gets out. And the Acolyte quickly scouts out and sees what build Starbuck is going for. And now Labyrinth knows that most likely Farseer harass is now inbound now how can you make that assumption i'm sure you guys are wondering if you're trying to get better at warcraft 3 well you know that the farseer you know that a hero is always going to be trained early on and there's pretty much two options for your early hero you're either going to creep or you're going you're either going to creep and expand or creep or you're going to harass and by going for only a single single farseer right now and a single altar of storms you know that there's pretty much no chance whatsoever that he's going to get any additional grunts or headhunters or any units like that without that supporting cast the un the farseer is really not going to be able to race and compete with labyrinths um well ghouls and all of these other units death knight may try to launch a death coil here no not going to be doing that you can see a little bit of damage going down onto this ghoul ghoul taking quite a bit Death Knight may try and purposely come back around and launch a Death Coil as we see the, well, those Spirit Wolves coming to an end. A new round of Spirit Wolves are charged up, ready to go. Death Knight does have a Slippers of Agility, Rod of Necromancy, as we see a quick, quick scout out at this 3 o'clock Expo location. Things to keep in mind, though, is that Starbuck, all he's really trying to do is he's trying to put pressure on his opponent. Make it difficult for Labyrinth to do very much with what he's got. You can see that the giant sea turtle is about to get taken down here. Death Knight wants that last hit and does get it, getting to level 2. Meanwhile, Farseer is still coming around with a bit of harassment. Skeletal minions popping up out, of, out here as well as these spirit wolves do not want to give experience to the death knight farseer hasn't gained any experience as of yet are we going to see a final shot off there nope the skeletal minions are going to get that last bit once more all right little bit of a death quail saving that um, one low hit point ghoul and all this farseer can really do is just continue to try and harass here back at home you can see a bestiary dual bestiary with a well with a shadow hunter now getting trained back on the undead side halfway teched up to necropolis with a graveyard now being added as well all right how much can starbuck really hope to do starbuck looks like he's gonna about to try and finish off some of these spirit wolves low hit point spirit wolf gets at and most gets taken out are we gonna see a, a quick death there yes another ghoul taken down skeletal minions could easily get cleaned up what's going down what is going off against all of these units as you can see ghouls are getting taken down there's another death coil here that giant sea turtle is just getting in lots of shots across all of these units who's going to get the last shot there farseer trying to get the last bit and does get it death knight however gets the item good morning good morning new 31 um let's 
unfold what's happening here. Farseer, currently sitting at level 1, needs to retreat back. He needs to heal up, and he may try and rinse and repeat the strategy here. Meanwhile, we are already going quick tech into Wind Riders by Starbuck, as we can see that the graveyard is out, and we are now perhaps going to be looking at Gargoyles or Crypt Fiends. Both are possible, but there's only one crypt right now, so it may come down to a matter of production if Labyrinth is trying to go gargoyles for anti air. Back off to the north here, Shadow or Farseer is getting healed up. Also, got a clarity potion delivered, I believe, by the Shadow Hunter as both sides still fighting their way through, trying to clear out this, well, relatively easy creep camp. And Starbuck being incredibly greedy now, trying to, uh, is he trying to set up an expo behind this? That would be an in a, in a incredibly, incredibly expensive maneuver here by Starbuck. He went for fast tech to tier two, now into an expansion as opposed to leveraging his um, his um, his leveraging his tech advantage. We are getting in more wind riders here, but here is the downside: the wind riders do cost quite a bit of gold, so you do kind of need an, that an extra economy if you're trying to train up off of two bestiaries. All right, risk versus reward always. Shadow Hunter now going after all of these units here. Forest Troll Warlord gonna get poked down extremely quickly. And then probably the Ogre Warriors and the remaining units. Eight player land currently underway in Dubai. Uh, United Arab Emirates, wow. Very unexpected, but also really cool. Um, all right, would be curious to know who is actually playing at that eight player LAN as well, trying to um, well, stay up on the news. Always a little difficult. Gargoyles now out here on the battlefield. A couple of Wind Riders are here ready to go. There goes a Frost Nova. There's a healing wave as the Gargoyle is going to try and dive in on to those units. One Gargoyle down, one Wind Rider down. However, that is not an even trade as Wind Riders do cost four supply compared to the Gargoyles two. Experience gained, experience an experience gained and, and while well, time and resource loss is a big difference there as that initial frost nova by the lich opening things up for that lich to finish off those units meanwhile we can see that the lich does have gloves of haste and some bonus damage already before even getting to tier three all right 45 supply compared to 41 expo off to the north still trying to um, well still trying to become established here <coughs> raider now down and now with a raider out here on the battlefield that's going to be some easy pickings as well the raider able to easily ensnare down a gargoyle and then once that gargoyle is well just s situated and stationary um the wind riders with their ranged piercing attacks can easily finish it off all right low hit point spirit wolf quickly dissolves into nothing that means that there is opportunity to clear out some more creep camps here farseer and win or shadow hunter both trying to get to level three there is a sasquatch there in addition to a level four and a level two creep i believe the farseer should be able to get there shadow hunter a little bit further behind level three farseer does mean level two spirit wolves most likely meanwhile Undead clearing out some difficult creep camps in the center of the map. He's winning that hero race, or sh well, no, I take it back, not winning the hero race. Shadow Hunter gets up to level three before Lich even gets up to level two. As we may be looking in some pressure now, Shadow Hunter level three, level two healing wave is gonna bounce around. We are looking at a couple of gargoyle or only one gargoyle in the air now, as the spirit wolves are dancing back and forth. Meanwhile, Starbuck does have the economic advantage, as we are now going into well a Goblin Alchemist as the third and final hero. Wind Riders want to poke Goblin Alchemist with Acid Bomb, Acid Bomb plus Orb of Corruption plus Frost Nova. Um, well, is a lot of damage on those wind riders and that lone raider meanwhile starbuck is still training up more wind riders back at home as he is at at tier well he is running on two bases and does have that reinforced defenses both sides are going to try and engage here is that an acid bomb yes it is acid bomb there only on one wind rider nice a split by starbuck to ensure that there was a little bit of separation so that the well, the Acid Bomb did not splash. However, Frost Nova did definitely splash there. All those slow-moving units. Death Coil finishing off a Wind Rider once more. And Death Coil Frost Nova, surprisingly, 
carrying the game for Undead. I would say only Lin and 120 are missing from it. That would be top 10. All right. Wow. All right. Coming back around, we see a quick roar from the Scroll of the Beast. Now as the uh, Burrow going to easily get finished off here. A couple of Raiders going to go ahead and get an ensnared down as we are now looking at Gargoyles and now Destroyers uh, engaging the fight and the battle here. Troll Batrider off to the side. There goes another Destroyer. 63 supply compared to 42. Low hit point Windrider is backing away. Ghouls are running amok on the ground as we see more healing waves still bouncing around here. All right, more damage could be going across here. Why are the Windriders and Batriders off to the side not engaging in the battle, not paying attention? attention as another wind rider gets taken down that is that is some big damage that is missing from the battle and now finally showing up here a little bit late but better late than never um some people say but well sometimes being late makes it so that you're never there all right wind riders continuing to battle it up here there's one gargoyle trying to try and cage there's a death coil as you can see a bunch of wind riders getting cleaned up there a scroll of healing but well two wind riders already lost as the both sides are still fighting their way through gargoyles um well gargoyle continuing to take a little bit of damage there goes another one 46 supply compared to 32 as the addition of that goblin alchemist um dealing a big anti or big anti-air damage that's 31 to 58 damage he attacks slow but that's sometimes what you need to see as the farseer now scroll of town portaling back home shadow hunter needs to get some mana farseer needs to get some mana expo needs to stay established for Starbuck to maintain this advantage here. There's some repairs going on with four orc, four peons inside. That is going to be quite a bit of damage. And here we are. Here we go. There's an engagement as three peons trying to repair. This uh, well, one poor ghoul is most likely going to get taken out. No, doesn't get taken out. Finally gets taken out here. Now going after the destroyer. Still plenty of poking as Starbuck plays a game of, well, Heidi the peon in the burrow. Um, taking all of those low hit point peons, dumping them inside the burrow to leave full hit point peons outside to constantly repair. Back across here, Alchemist sitting at level two. Death Knight is at four. If the fr if the Lich does get to level three, which it d is now, that Frost Nova is well that much more powerful. The lineup is Happy, Romantic, Sowin, Lalayet, Moon, Focus, Sock, and Labyrinth. Wow, that is quite quite the land party in in the united arab emirates wow did not know that um, united arab emirates ha even had a big warcraft 3 scene coming back around here um, repairs might be getting underway troll bat riders want to dive on in there's a big frost nova healing wave bouncing around peons are just des desperately trying to repair farseer getting up to level four now more gargoyles showing up there's a chain lightning bouncing around as a low hit point win wind rider gets taken down again orc burrow or orc burrow also doing its job focusing down some of these um the destroyers as we see the chemical raging goblin alchemist still fighting fighting his way through as well 32 supply compared to 33 orc burrow with a little bit of defense trying to stay alive here as you can see those little spears poking down onto those obsidian statues which actually has a, a bit more of a lasting effect since well the obsidian statues are healing up, up all of those remaining units no ensnares onto any of the obsidian statues forcing them within range surprisingly as we are looking at the lich still fighting away with plus 17 damage Goblin Alchemist off to the side here. We're going to see the Shadow Hunter try and engage. Perhaps some repairs are going to be necessary, but Starbuck, even with the Expo and even with that fast tech to tier two, unable to overcome Labyrinth's, well, Labyrinth's and Gargoyle defense and minimizing the time the Wind Riders are that effective. Both sides still engaging here. There's a couple of, well, auto attacks going down once more. The Orc Burrow is taking quite a bit of damage, surprisingly so, since the auto attack is coming from the, a heroic Lich. Still, the Peons are trying to keep up with it. Plus 17 attack melts everything, yeah. Apparently Acid Bomb, well, apparently Acid Bomb also going to be doing some melting as well as we see some more ensnares go down. Death Knight, um, trying to test the waters here. Death Knight, well, an obsidian statue with Essence of Blight. Is it doing Essence of Blight and Mana? No, just Essence of Blight here. Second one now for Essence of Mana. That Lich can just hold off on the side. Starbuck um, may actually like this, knowing that he, he is getting a stronger economy and building back up to 52 supply. 
but Starbuck had a larger supply advantage earlier and was unable to hold the defense and there anyways. There goes another Acid Bomb in Snares not going down. We're looking at the Algoblin Alchemist with a scroll of healing, more repairs as more Troll Bat Riders are making their way over. Bet Boom, a Russian betting company. It's happening as an intro to the huge Dota 2 tournament. Ah, okay. That makes sense. Troll Bat Riders finding a couple of Gargoyles there. Acid Bomb coupled with Frost Nova and Death Coil snipes down one Wind Rider quickly. All right. More peons continuing the fight here. Perhaps some more repairs getting underway. Starbuck wants to hold on to this expo, but it doesn't look good. There goes an ensnare onto an obsidian statue as the Wind Riders are just, well, stacking up on top of each other, opening them up more damage for Acid Bomb, Frost Nova, and the eventual finishing off with that Death Coil. All right. Low hit point units abound when there are Death Knights Frost no and Frost nova in heroes on the undead able to pick off 570 hit point units in pretty much no time at all all right warcraft 3 and dota should be natural allies makes sense that's true that's true all right another frost nova here and i think we can already see the writing on the wall here no more not much of a standing army starbuck has a stronger economy but the economy has just translated into higher hero levels for the undead a unit's trying to retreat back again um, obsidian statue destroyer and heroes that's all we see from labyrinth right now and that seems to be enough as a gargoyle also staying nearby just in case more wind riders take to the sky we are looking at more Wind Riders about to take to the skies here as, well, this Orc Burrow has constantly been under fire throughout the last three minutes of this game. The Peons working hard to keep this Burrow up and running as it's otherwise, well, we, we could easily see a Frost Nova or Acid Bomb finish off all of these Peons here and, uh, well, take down this Expo. All right. And it looks like the peons are like trying to hide in between the orc burrow and this gold mine. Hats off to Starbuck for some really impressive micro and peon rotation, but that can't be your your way to solve this problem. And it's just trying to find Labyrinth or f making a way for Labyrinth to make a mistake to capitalize, but it doesn't seem like Labyrinth's opening up that possibility just quite yet. Farseer coming back around. Death Knight is here. There's a Frost Nova. Some slow moving units. Healing Wave. Gargoyle going to get in some attacks. There's some Acid Bombs. Death Knight looking to get a Death Coil off and does find that low hit point Wind Rider. Meanwhile, going back after all of this again, Death Knight nearing level 5. And well, once we hit level 5, all bets are pretty much um, off as the Death Knight's Death Coil dealing 100 points more extra damage and is going to just finish off these 570 hit point wind riders quickly. All right. Yeah, when when the Lich and Lich and the Death Knight can nearly just take down a, a four supply unit in one cycle of spells um, and and then all of that mana is replenished back so quickly, it does become a bit of a problem. All right, Lich getting in some more auto attacks here. Alchemist, you can see some more repairs getting underway. And yeah, Chemical Raging Alchemist could easily finish off some of these peons again. More peons just uh, trying to jump back inside and out, but still not working. And I believe the GG is going to be there. Starbuck with, an inc with a very, very fast tech to tier 2 and a very fast expo, unable to take down a one base undead. Yeah. Going for fast Wind Riders, always a bit of a... Of well, of a of a dangerous maneuver, those wind riders are literally glass cannons, especially once the undead heroes get higher up in level. Once that lich got to level three, um, it was gonna be a, a difficult for Starbuck to you know, do anything. And once once the death knight got to level five, well, everything was already over. Let me know what you guys thought about this game in the comments below.